Dun da da! It's a new. Yeah. All right. First up. Hi, book. Updated. This is now um, edition, third uh, edition of this book. Uh, it is uh, by uh, Matt Richardson and Sean Wallace, uh, who uh, are are also. Um, Matt at Richardson, least Matt Richardson is, works at the Pi at, World. Yeah, it's Pi Foundation person. Uh, it's been updated now. Covers the Pi two and Pi three. So it is all of the most recentest, recentest, which is really good because there have been changes. We've been updating our guides because there's been changes. Um, it's a, a great starter book. I suggest to pick one up if you want to learn about Raspberry Pi. It has awesome diagrams and um, these the really cool photos and it has, you know, pictures, it's full color and it has fritzing diagrams. So it's kind of everything you need to get started with uh, electronics. Okay. On the Raspberry Pi. Speaking of, we have got these cards. Yeah, these are cool. So we why are now, they cool? I'll tell you why they're cool. Because um, we have been burning our SD cards, which is fine. But now we have the official. I don't, know, I don't know where the card went, but it's fine. This is you can see it here. Um, it is uh, an official Raspberry Pi, you know, with a logo, and it's by the company that supplies SD cards, and so it's going to always have the most recent noobs on it, and. Uh, you know, we're going to be basically updating our kits to include this because Noobs is kind of nice. You get, all, you know, you get Raspbian already on it and also has Windows 10 IoT and it has uh, Kodi, OSMC, I think um, Arch Linux, a couple other things on there. So it, it allows you to install multiple operating systems and 8 gigabytes enough to install two operating systems on there, which is kind okay. of, which is good. You can like have Kodi and Raspbian, for example. Okay, next up. Okay, this is a little switch. So this is an adorable eight-way switch and this was a request by um, John Park who was making uh, the Chewbacca mask and wanted something that basically allowed him to select one of eight mm. positions so yeah I gotta show this because it's just so teeny and cute much like that little arcade um, so this has ten points on the bottom it has eight on all the way around and then it has one in the center which you can kind of see this one's in the center and this switch, as you switch it around, it changes the connection from this one to any one of eight. So it's a one to eight connector. So it's single pole, eight throw, I guess. And um, you can use it with our uh, T18 knobs. They work really well. You can panel mount it. This uh, comes with a um, washer and a hex nut. So it's good if you're just like, look, I, want to just, I don't want to go to encoder, which is annoying. You have to like keep track of these pulses. You just want to have eight digital IOs or eight different LEDs or eight outputs or inputs and you just want to select between them, it says mechanical switch and that's all it does. Very easy. Only thing is it's not breadboard friendly, so you might want to panel mount it and then just solder wires to the ends. Okay. But eight, and it's very small, very compact. Okay. Good for embedding in projects. I got these trigger switches. Toggle. That's toggle why the time. code's toggle, I toggle guess, toggle. huh? Yeah, it is. We got two different types, too. Okay, so we have two colors. I actually got samples of other colors, but they didn't look as good. I'm going to get them redone before, you know, because, like, I got white and blue, and but they were they didn't look good. The LED was way too bright. It wasn't useful. Um, so we're going to get those redone. But for now, we have yellow and red, and I'll show these. So these are nice big toggle switches, but what's really cool is the toggle has a light at the end of it. Oh my God. And the way that this is wired up now is when this is off, the LED is off. You, you can control the LED separately from the, let me think, yeah, it goes, sorry, it goes like this. So now it's on all the time. Uh, and the switch just connects these two on and off. So you can have it, you know, tell you when the LED, this, the LED can tell you when the switch is connected to power or you can have it just be on all the time. And then there's this cool cover. You can remove the cover. There's just two washers. Um, sorry, hex nuts. And uh, you just remove the, the hex nuts and then um, remove the cover and put it, and put this back, uh, put it back in place. Um, it's for 12 volts and it says 20 amps. I don't know. That's not what I, I even that says that, I, I don't know if I would put more than two amps through it. I just haven't been able to test it for more than that. But as is, these are really handy for all sorts of like uh, interfaces that you want to have fancy. And so here's the red one. That was the orangish yellow. And then hopefully we'll get more colors in. I didn't want to carry the ones that we had because again, they weren't that great. Yeah. And even though this is, the LED has an internal resistor, you can use it from three volts up to 12 volts. So this is three volts. It, it's lit, it's not super bright. It's just from a coin cell uh, for this demo, but you can power it up to th uh, 12 volts. And again, if you want, Add a resistor in line here if you want to change the dimness. But then this is the, uh, I'll make it so it 
turns off automatically. Okay, so on. Wait, did I get that right? No. Oh my god, I just I just did the wrong thing. Hold on. Sorry. This goes here. Okay, so on and then off automatically when you do the cover. So I don't know, cool. Wanna make like a control panel? Very handy. Yeah. Toggle switches. Okay. Kind of like that automatically turns it off when you close the toggle cover too. It's so nice red touch. and yellow to start. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, That's uh, that. there's more. So now more. we got this um, seed board. Yeah, this is the um, Seedwino light. So the um, Arduino Leonardo has been discontinued by Arduino CC, but there's still a couple projects that we have that use the form factor and, and the, the chipset of the 32U4. And so a seed has a derivative, which is similar enough. It has a couple of extras. Uh, it doesn't have headers attached, so you can solder them on, but it will act like a Leonardo. And so it's, it's pin compatible and shape compatible. So handy if you want to build a project that uses a Leonardo, but you can't get them because we just continued. Um, this is still being made. And this is the wonder of open source hardware. Because the Leonardo is open source hardware, they can make um, this version. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, comes without with no headers attached, but you can solder them on, and then it looks like the next photo. Looks like that, and yeah. that's it. Um, pretty Defin simple. Definitely like McDonald's color pattern. It like is it, yeah, the you can't it, like there's certain color I, uh, I want palettes fries. that mm. you can't not think of, and I'm just like, wow, it's like this comes in a Happy Meal. It's cool. Ash browns. Okay. Okay, so that's the seed we know light. And then last but not show, least, yeah, besides you tonight, is, is uh, the uh, SI7021. So this is a relative humidity and temperature sensor from Scilabs. It's a really lovely sensor. It's actually quite nice. And they gave me a very good price on it. And so um, we put it on a breakout board with voltage regulator and level shifter. So you can use it with three volts or five volts. It's very compact. It's I squared C. It's very simple. We have a library for it. Run it, get the temperature, get the humidity. That white flat thing on the top is a, a Teflon filter. And so it is protected from dirt and um, excess moisture. So it's, it's good up to 80% humidity, um, but to keep, to reduce the chance of condensation and to keep dust and dirt and flux out, there's that little white cover. So we, we got, we've spent a couple extra cents and got that, but we think it's worth it. So this is, um, this is I think our most uh, reasonably priced humidity sensor. So it's good, the competition is working we're able to get better and better pricing all the okay. time. So this is uh, the new sensor. All right, got. here we go. That's new products. Yeah. Good work, Lady Ada. You did it. Yay. New.